Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is Sunday, June 13th, 2021, and I want to do a follow-up video on my last uh, piece of information that I shared with you about the 40-day warning from the solar eclipse on June 10th. In my previous video, we talked about Jonah and the eclipse in ancient Nineveh and the connection to a solar eclipse as the warning that was given to Nineveh together with the preaching of Jonah. And we had the connection between the solar eclipse and Jonah being spit out of the whale. Okay, and we talked about this story that came out on June 11th. This Massachusetts lobster diver that describes being swallowed by a humpback whale off of Cape Cod. In my previous video, I shared about this uh, this story and the testimony of this man and what happened. And he was in the mouth of the whale for 30 to 40 seconds. And part of this uh, whole story has to do with the number 40 and the 40-day warning that comes with the preaching to Nineveh from the solar eclipse and from the beginning of the preaching of of Jonah we have a 40-day uh, warning given to Nineveh but there was another story that happened exactly on June 10th and this is another tie-in to the the 40-day warning as we know the flood of Noah lasted for 40 days okay and Britain detains Noah's Ark doubting it can handle the sea this piece of information also came out on June 10th okay so together with the solar eclipse on June 10th we have two stories that refer to the biblical scenario of 40 days Noah's Ark and Jonah and the whale okay both of these stories came out together with the solar eclipse of June 10th so we have June 10th we have the solar eclipse we have a 40-day warning based on Jonah based on Noah and if we go from June 10th, 40 days, it is going to bring us to the most important day of all destructions in Israel. The 9th and the 10th of Av is the day, Tisha B'Av, that both temples were destroyed both temples were destroyed on the 9th and the 10th of Av okay Tisha B'Av I'm going to share a video with you about the history of this day the importance of this day I want to share before I share that video with you I want to share one piece of information from the scripture that will have us pointing to and understanding the destruction of the temple as a key sign for us in the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 24 And Jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus begins his discourse where he begins talking about the signs of his coming and of the end of the world he begins by telling them the destruction of the temple 
and there was a day that that happened, a specific day where that happened. So could it possibly be a coincidence that from the solar eclipse on June 10th, we have two biblical warnings that came forth about a man being swallowed by a whale, about Noah's Ark being detained, and a 40-day warning that leads us exactly to the day of the destruction of both temples. So I want to share with you now this video about the history of Tisha B'Av. And this is what we need to consider about where we are and the warning that God is bringing forth at this time. Tisha B'Av, the ninth day of the Hebrew month Av, is the day of the destruction of the great temple of Solomon in Jerusalem, first destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 BCE. Rebuilt, it was destroyed once again by the Romans in the year 70, also on Tisha B'Av. Since then, many tragedies from the Crusades to the Inquisition to pogroms to the Holocaust have begun or had special implications on or around that day. 1096, the First Crusade, more than a million Jews killed. 1290, all Jews expelled from England. 1306, all Jews expelled from France. 1492, the Inquisition, Jews killed tortured and expelled from Spain. 1914, Germany entered World War I, a conflict that culminated in World War II and the Holocaust. 1941, SS Commander Heinrich Himmler received approval for the final solution. 1942, Germans and Poles began the mass deportation of Jews from the Warsaw Ghetto en route to Treblinka. As a people, as one historic family, we commemorate those tragedies and others every year on this Hebrew date.